Hi YouTube. We're just gonna show you our little creature visitors. These guys showed up the other day in our yard and uh, yeah, they're cute. They're super cute. But anyway, back to this cute little plane. <laughs> I added ailerons. Um, ailerons make a difference, a big difference. And then I also opened up so that my 300 milliamp battery could go back a little bit further. Um, it's not a pretty plane at all. It's, well, it flies really good. And it flies really nice, but it's, I would like it to also be beautiful, but let's just be real. It doesn't need to be beautiful. Okay, here's the ailerons. Show them the mechanism there. I didn't want to bore you guys with this build video because it was ridiculously boring. <laughs> Basically, I took the control linkages from uh, spare servos and I used those to make the linkage connection point. Because if you try to go straight off of there, the geometry never quite works out. And um, this plane has that little stabilizer. It's an orange RX stabilizer, DSMX, um, four channel radio. And I just said, you know what? I'm putting ailerons in it today. This battery adapter, or the moving the battery back, is I've still got a little bit of work on it, but I'll show you what this thing flies like. Here, in fact, we'll just show you a glide first. My throttle is, is on, so I'm gonna throw it, but it should fly. I'll just show you how it flies as a glider. Okay, now we're into the power. Nice roll authority. I do have a 25% mix with the rudder. But guys, just look how rock solid it is. It's just so, so easy to fly. And I mean, there's a few things in the way there. <laughs> like, ten. I mean, it's, it's rock solid. This has a little teeny cheap Chinese stabilizer in it, so... And then we still have power to get out of trouble, like that. And we can still do stall turns now. We can do climb outs without trouble. We can do all those fun things. But if you're just in the mood for a nice orderly flight, that's what you can do. Oh, and then also, of course, you can fly upside down now. Which is nice. You could have probably flown upside down for like one second before. But now, you know, if you're into that sort of thing, you can just... I don't want to say perpetually because I'm not that good of an upside down pilot. I just don't get into it. But you can fly upside down now that you have ailerons. And then, you know, someday when I find a slope from which to soar, it's going to be on. Here, let's switch positions here. them a different vantage point now that we're done filming bunnies. The thing that's so awesome about this plane, guys, too, is just if I hit something, it's such a light nothing of a plane. Um, the prop is mounted in the front, so I probably still wouldn't want to like hit my face or any of my <laughs> orifices. <laughs> But, it's very light, it's very unlikely to do damage, and check this out guys, let's do a landing. I mean, that was so hard, but uh, the cool thing is, you can pop in a battery, and you can say, kids, go out and play with the plane, and then they can throw it and stuff. If you're going to do that though, what I would recommend to do is... Even though you have a stabilizer in here and it does make for good hand toss lights um, give it some trim so I'll show you the trim I'm at 22 clicks on my DX 18 she'll go like there and then she'll just go and go and go which is pretty cool so then the kids get fun. In case you guys weren't already aware, when you do use 
one of the stabilizers like this, once you initiate, um, it'll work. So you don't have to have the radio on, although that would be dangerous. I wouldn't recommend it. I would say turn on your radio and just leave it there. So make sure your throttle cuts on. But anyway, I'm gonna cut this uh, trim back from negative 80 to plus 22, which is where we were. It was a little wet on the ground there. Nice controlled rolls without any problems. It's deceivingly calm here. It's kind of weird because it looks really calm and it is somewhat calm right now. If there's some, the air is upset once you get about 30 feet up in the atmosphere. It's very weird. If I were flying a UMX, it'd be giving me trouble right now up in the air. Um, down at the low level, it does good or it would be doing good because it's calm down here behind the houses and stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys how awesome that turned out. I was really happy with the way it turned out. Not a humongous, crazy roll rate or anything, but you've got enough, enough roll rate that you can do without rudder um, on a roll and still come out pointed upright. And that's my five minute timer. And by the way, this prop, I could probably put a bigger prop on if I wanted because the motor and the EFC don't even really get warm. And about the only thing I don't like about this plane, and I think you guys already know what it is, that's one of the things I wanted to show you. That was a botched landing on purpose um, because I wanted to show you that the wing won't flip. Uh, the stakes that I'm holding it on with actually worked really nicely. I basically just slathered a little bit of warm hot glue, not hot glue, slid it through and then uh, Put her in worked great guys um if you got one of these little high-tech hawkeyes by the way this is a different wing this is a wing off of another high-tech hockey hawkeye and the plane that we started with had a white wing um you can get them in alternating colors it has a smaller wing that was not with this dihedral in it it just has kind of a swoop on it and i actually really far preferred the way that that looked but this wing is thicker and it creates a little bit more lift it's also quite a bit larger. So if you get an opportunity to build one of these, there's a million of them on the market for like 10, 12, 15 bucks. Um, but if you try to go with like one of the Hobby King chuck gliders, the F-16, the F-18, F-22, they're really small and they don't quite have enough body to counteract the torque from one of these little motors. So that's been my experience at least. So anyway, without further ado, thanks for watching guys. We're gonna get up and fly some more and try to get you, uh, there's something coming around the pike and it's gonna be exciting. It's only about 15 years old. My <laughs> grandpa built it and it's gonna be awesome. So keep tuned in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.